Hey, it's Earth Castle. Making natural environments in the Hammer Editor is especially hard, whether because of the blocky architecture of brushes, lack of foliage props in Half-Life 2, or managing displacements. Today, I'll teach you how to make detailed nature in the Hammer Editor. I've already done this before, but that tutorial is very outdated, and I've improved since then, so I thought I'd do it again. Also, if you want to support the channel, make sure to join our Discord server. Link will be in the description. Anyway, on with the video. To start, you'll need a large patch of grass. Make sure the grass is cut into individual square pieces in a grid pattern. I'd recommend making the grass squares 256 by 256 hammer units. How flat or long they are doesn't really matter. Make sure your grass is using a blend texture. To find a blend texture, search for blend in the texture browser and they should appear. Use the texture application tool to select only the top face of the grass and turn it into a displacement by clicking create in the displacements tab. After this, use the paint geometry tool to make your landscape. Left click raises the ground and right click lowers the ground. I'm going to use this to create a stream for my river to run through. You can also use it to make bumpy terrain. Then use the paint alpha tool to blend the textures. I've gone with a mix of grass and gravel to make this place feel a bit more rocky and to make a gravel path which will come in handy in a second. After doing this, I added a layer of water and a bridge going over the top so you can get over the river. Now it's mostly just prop work. I added a couple of fallen logs with one stretching across the river. Then I added some large rocks to break up the greenery and make the surrounding area look a little more realistic. I recommend using pretty small ones, unless you're going for a mountainscape or a rocky area. You can also partially submerge them underground if they're too big. Then I added the trees. A lot of these props are from Half-Life 2 Episode 2, so I'd highly recommend buying and mounting that game if you're making any sort of nature. I put a couple of big and small trees on each side to give it some vertical depth, and because the trees look really good as well. Remember to rotate the trees randomly so the pattern of the leaves don't match up and it doesn't look like you've copied and pasted a ton of sand trees. After that I put in the ferns, which make the flat grass feel a little less flat and adds a lot more detail from the ground view. And then you're done! I really like this type of nature in Hammer, since you don't really see it in the dark, factory-like maps of Half-Life or even Garris mod. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed make sure to check out my other Hammer content and that's all for now. See ya!